Hey everyone, this is David with Injured Gadgets, and today I'll be talking to you about our grip tempered glass. Uh, so, we've done a lot of testing on a grip tempered glass. We're going to be demonstrating a lot of that testing with you today. Um, you'll be seeing tons of footage on the various tests that we do have here on the table and some a little bit off screen. Um, but through the testing that we have done, we've shown that it's just a really reliable, great high quality tempered glass. Um, compares to some of the best stuff that you could find on the market. Uh, some of the $50, $60 retail range that you might see in big box retail stores. Uh, reasons why we believe this I'll be covering here. So the grip temper glass is made out of a different type of material than your normal temper glass that you might be buying in wholesale prices of like less than a dollar a piece or so. Um, grip temper glass is made out of an alumina silicate. That alumina silicate material is generally stronger. It has greater impact resistance, better edge strength and better scratch resistance as well. Um, the way that alumina silicate tempered glass is manufactured actually also goes through a longer heating process than standard tempered glass. And so normal tempered glass has like a two hour heating process at 620 Celsius. But with our grip glass, we've been doing that, pushing it further with our manufacturers to roughly six hours, that same temperature. Um, there's also a better edge adhesion, so you don't see any kind of haloing or anything around the edges when you uh, finally adhere it to the glass of whatever foam you're putting it on. And um, the scratch resistance, we're actually going to be testing it here with a Mohs hardness scale. Uh, the, we're also going to be using a tensile strength tester that I have here. And then off camera, we've got uh, a steel ball drop test. So we're going to be running it through multiple stages of testing. We're going to be recording everything, share it with you guys. Um, here we've got packaging. We've got our iPad packaging here. And then these are the individual retail ones that we sell. And then we've also got 10 packs and 50 pack boxes. So there's, if you wanna have huge bulk packaging of them, we've got that available. And taking this out here, you can see everything is actually packaged inside. So here's the tempered glass here. You can see it looks really premium, just comes out of the box looking great for the customers. And then there's also an additional accessory kit here that has you know, your standard ISO wipes on it. Um, so that's, that's pretty much everything here we've got for you. We'll be taking it through further testing and we'll demonstrate everything to you guys. Uh, stick around, thanks. All right, so guys, the first thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to do a quick tensile test on grit versus a random soda lime glass. Um, we will say that this is from regular wholesaler and it is what we assume is normal sort of lime glass or tempered glass that you would see on 99% of the devices on the market. Um, so for this test, I'm just gonna be placing these down quickly and easily, I'm not trying to get them perfect, obviously, just because it's, a, it's for testing purposes and just kind of laying it mostly flat or as flat as possible. All right. And we are gonna place these kind of at the same edge, so make sure it's basically flush with the bottom of the machine and about dead center. Is the machine on? Yep. Perfect. And what the Sensil Tester does is it actually measures the impact per square inch, the pounds per square inch. And we're gonna see how this does. 64. 64. Now let's test out the grip tempered glass and see how that holds up versus the normal soda lime glass. Did you start the crack at 30? Yeah, I heard, a, I heard a little crack at 30. Can you move that for me? Got these gloves on. Awesome. So now we're gonna grab the grip glass and we will test this one out. Once again, just going to do a quick laying down of it. I at least want to get the ear speaker on there properly so that it's not like somewhere crazy. And then just quickly pushing it down. Obviously, we didn't use any 
alcohol to clean this up or any wipes. But we are going to place it in the exact same spot, so basically flush with the bottom and dead center of the machine. And let's test this one out. Seventy-eight. Yeah. Nice. So it's a solid like 25, 30% stronger than typical soda wine glass. Now, the next test I want to do is actually kind of like a bend test. And this is going to vary from the size of the glass. So this is the normal soda wine glass. Let's just do them both the same way. So this is the back. So we will bend it um, <clears throat> kind of this way to show you how much of a bend it has. So it probably cracked around this level or so. And I'll show you guys just how the grip temper glass actually bends. And once again, it gets way better the, uh, the larger the glass. So we're gonna bend it the exact same way this way. Move the screen protector. And we are touching the edges, folks, on an iPhone 8. Literally touching the edges. Gonna show another angle to you guys. And obviously the more you do this, the more often, the more likely it is a crack. But literally edge to edge. Um, and the cool thing is about grip is that it'll do the same thing on iPads. So it'll grab one of our iPads. Oh no, IG Bear fell down. If I do one of our iPads, we're gonna get the exact same result. Um, these are actually even more pliable, just because I said like the larger they are, the more likely they are to not break. So I'm gonna go with this angle. Well, we got to here before it cracked. So way greater than a 90 or well, I don't know what that would be, almost 180 degree angle before it cracks. Um, and as you can see, it pulls together in one piece. It doesn't just shatter and shard. So that's a, it's a two quick tests on, uh, on our grip. The last test I want to do for you guys is going to be the Mohs hardness test. So let's grab our last grip and I'm actually going to do it on this right here. Let's grab the six and seven first. So might be hard to see your focus in on, but this is a six and a seven. Let's do the six first. No scratching. Seven does not scratch either. Now, <clears throat> it might scratch on an eight, but it won't break until nine, which is very similar to tungsten. Uh, but let's see how it does on an eight. So it is starting to scratch and maybe a slight crack, but it won't actually crack crack until nine. Um, and honestly, regular tempered glass probably wouldn't be able to do that. Uh, not even close really. So when we say nine H hardness, we mean nine H hardness. So the next thing we wanted to do is we wanted to do a ball drop test with a grip tempered glass and the regular one. We're going to try and do this all in one shot. So right now we're set up at two feet and uh, let's do it. So the grip obviously we just put like a little sticker back on grip and uh, let's do this out now. 
I don't expect either of these to break at two feet, but we'll see. So that one obviously did not. That is the normal silicone, uh, sorry, sort of line glass. Let's do some grip. And drop. Obviously no crack. Now the fear with this is that it ends up hitting one of these edges and breaks them easier, but you know what? Maybe on the next one I'll try and catch or push it out of the way. All right, so let's uh, let's move up to, we're at two feet, let's go to four. So that's gonna be about right here. Unfortunately, our laser's not perfectly calibrated. So let's just see where this drops first. Not bad. Uh, probably a little bit to the right, left. So let's put that right there. Okay. And three, two, one. All right. No break on this one. And let's test out grip. I don't remember where it dropped, so let's just make sure we're in the same spot. All right, that was about dead center right there. And three, two, one. All right, neither of these broke. So let's go all the way up to six feet. So let's do the other brand first. Three, two, one. All right, so that definitely broke. Let us see how grip does. Okay. All right, for grip, three, two, one. No break. Uh, this machine goes to roughly seven and a half feet, so we could try that. Let's try it out, guys. And let's align it first. I'm killing it with these alignments. <laughs> All right, so one thing to note is this class has had impact now three or four times. So obviously a new glass would be much better. So let's test it out at roughly eight feet. Three, two, one. Still no breaks. Well, we had a another bowl, which is about twice as heavy. In my opinion, this is probably gonna break, but let's find out. All right, three, two, one, go. Oh my. 
Wow. Twice as strong, no break. Well, as you guys can see, grip blast, literally twice as strong on impact. If you guys haven't tried it out yet, grip blast is the best ever blast on the market. Only at IndraGadgets.com.